How's it going everyone? iOS 17.5 is now available throughout the entire world and here are 15 cool features that Apple added, everything from sports to puzzles and more. Let's go ahead and begin. So here is my iPhone 15 and the first thing they added can be located in your wallpaper selection. If we long hold and we add a new wallpaper, you'll see that there is a new pride wallpaper and it comes in a variety of different colors, themes to choose from. And when you select it, if you notice, there's multiple different unique animations for it each and every time you unlock your device. It's a bit hard to see was this widget in the way. Let me see if I can move it over to something. There we go. This is better. So it just like shuffles with multiple different unique animations as you see in right there. And then if you have an Apple Watch, you'll see that the Apple Watch also received a new Pride watch face with multiple different color choices to choose from to match the ones that on our iPhone has. Just when you unlock, it doesn't do an animation, but it does do that little cool little glow. And then if you use the Apple Sport app, now there's support for not only hockey, but NBA playoffs as well. And then the Apple News, either you're a subscriber or not, there's now new crossword games you could play. And you can locate it in the following section, where it says puzzles. Here's where you can find all the new puzzle games you can find basically what you typically would be able to see like on a newspaper. Now it's on the app. And not only that, if you hop into your phone settings and you look for the news section and you click on here, if you're subscribed to Apple News Plus, you have the ability to offload news articles. Now for FaceTime calls, there's now a new ability where you could remove spam callers where you can actually block certain groups unlike before. So very similar to like iMessage, you could block annoying group calls now. For number five in the Find My app, if you try removing like your iPhone, you will see a new pop-up window allowing you to prepare your device for repair, where previously we had to log into our iPhones and then disable the Find My ability for Apple to have repairability of your device. Now you can just hit the trash bag, the trash can icon, I mean, and then start prepare for repair. I don't recommend enabling this and hitting continue because if you do that, it said there's currently no way to reverse this other than going and contacting Apple directly. So only enable this if you're actually doing a repair at the Apple store. Now, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, the spotlight search, if you actually enter podcasts, you'll see that will actually feature the recently listened podcast you've been listening to library as soon as you just type in podcasts. In addition to that, the widgets for the podcasts very similar to like music album artwork does with CarPlay. If you hit play and you look at that widget, it will then change to the color of the album artwork for that podcast. Now the weather widget also received a small tweak as well because the font is somewhat enhanced. It's different than, than how it previously was. So just something I thought it was kind of interesting to highlight because here is how it looks like on 17.5 and here's how it looked like on the previous 17 OS software update. If you use the Apple Books app, now there's a new indicator on top allowing you to see how you're progressing basically from your reading goal. So if you set a reading goal on your Apple Book app, you can find the stats right above here. Number 10, if you live in the EU, you now have the capability to download apps strictly from the web browser like Safari, instead of having it previously like how it used to be where you had to download it from a third party app that you will typically download from a web browser. Now you can just download that app on your iPhone directly. And then if you go into your iPhone settings and go into privacy and security, on the very bottom, well almost mid bottom, you'll see a new pass key access for web browsing. When you click on here, basically this will keep logs of all your apps as well as websites you've been on that have access to your pass key, logging all this information in, allowing you to no longer have your passcode in hand whenever you need to log into certain applications or websites. An example would be the WhatsApp is one of the first apps from my understanding that has taken full advantage of this new update and will basically allow you to log in without you having to log in if that makes sense. It's like encrypted data on your iPhone and the, the two apps just communicate and give you access without doing the face ID or giving them your password. I'm still gonna continue testing this thing because it's still is kinda interesting how it works, but it's definitely something new that got added. Now, currently, AirTags can now indicate and tell you if it's tracking you unwantedly. Now, Apple allowed us to also support other third-party trackers like Tile and stuff. So now your iPhone could notify you if it noticed that something is following you and it's a third-party and it's your iPhone's able to detect that and give you the heads up. Universal eSIM support is now open and available for developers 
which is set to be able to allow developers to basically install eSIMs on your device without you having to scan a QR code like we previously had to, as well as go into our solar data and adjust a couple of things in the settings. Now you can just log into an app and we should, we should be able to quickly install eSIM this way on our devices, making the whole process super easy. If you live in the Netherlands, Apple Maps now has support for motorcycle directions. And then lastly, the new Halo Welcome to Your New iPhone or iPad device has been updated as, as now as you're doing like a transfer over to a new device your Memoji will be shown on top. And there we have it. Those are 15 amazing things I got added on iOS 17.5. So now you're in the loop and thank you so much for watching.